Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in today's video I'm going to show you how to check error codes and how to delete them on a Mitsubishi electric controller. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. So specifically this controller is the PAR, P-A-R-40 M-A-A-U. And you're gonna see quite a few of these. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn the system off. There's a green light. You see that display, that means it's on. Let's turn it off, okay? But searching up this video, I couldn't find this, so I figured this might be a good one for some people looking for this. We're gonna click menu, and we're gonna get a list of things. We're gonna scroll down until we hit service. And click select here. And then you're going to get stuck at this maintenance password. I feel like a lot of people are going to get stuck here. Um, so right now, what you're going to want to put in is 9999. Let's see. So over here, I'm going to go down until we get a 9. Next, 9, next, 9, next. Once we got 9999 in there, we're going to click Select. And now we're in the service menu. We're going to go down. We see a few things. We're going to go down to Check. Scroll down the cursor, click check, click select. And over here, we can go to our error history. It's very important when you're troubleshooting. Error history, you can click select, right? And it's gonna show you our errors. We have one error, 6607, and then another error, 6834. And this was definitely during installation. This was a fairly new installation. But we can look up what those codes are. Here we have 6607 indicates no ACK error, meaning a communication problem between the indoor and outdoor units. This often involves the Lanze ventilation system or issues with the transmission line. All right, then we have 6834. It says typically indicates an issue with the transmission wiring or hardware error on the Lanze board. This was during the time of installation for sure, but either way, you see the issue, you're going to want to address it, and after you're done addressing it, okay, you're going to want to click delete. Delete error history. Okay. David? Return. So now our error history is out, select, nothing there, and we're good to go. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week, and I'll catch you all next time.